Yo, what's up everybody? This is What What back with a brand new video here for Grand Theft Auto V Online after patch 1.38. Now for today's video, this is going to be an all new lowrider money glitch, originally founded by Tuto Facile Francais. Huge shout out to Tuto for hooking us up with another unlimited money glitch. Now you will be required to have a CEO office building, at least one CEO garage, and the mod shop in the CEO building. You'll also be required to have one friend set to a different targeting mode than yourself. So my buddy I see that's helping me out with today's video, he has his targeting mode set to assisted aim partial. So while I was in story mode, I went to settings and controls and I set my targeting mode to be free aim. So you gotta be a different targeting mode than your friend that's helping you out. Now from here, I went ahead and filled up my CEO office garage with stock elegies. You will be required to start off with a completely stock elegy to do this glitch. Now, for starters, basically you want to be in office garage number one. You want to be on the first floor or floor 1A. And we're going to go ahead and hop into any elegy. I suggest just using the elegy that's in spot number six here, which is closest to the blue circle and closest to your elevator. So just get into the car, hit right on the D-pad and go ahead and take it into the mod shop. Now, when you do the actual glitch, you need to add the Benny's upgrade. Okay, so as you can see in the video, I'm going to add the Benny's upgrade and I'm going to fully upgrade the car. If you want to test out the first part of the glitch so you don't waste any money getting timing down correctly, just add any one cheap item and make sure that you can get yourself kind of in a glitched out state where you are frozen, which you'll see here in the video. I tested a few times just to make sure I got the timing down correctly before I went ahead and actually started the glitch. But for the video here, I'm going to go ahead and show you, I went, in went ahead and in fact fully upgraded the vehicle. So I upgraded it to a retro custom and I added the maximum number of upgrades on the vehicle. Once you do so, you want to go to exit, make sure that, that box there you see on the screen in the top left hand corner is going to remain there in the top left hand corner. So it says exit to office garage one, exit vehicle, or exit to ground. You want to hover over or highlight exit to ground. And at this point, you're going to go ahead and go to your dashboard. It's like on PlayStation, as a, for instance, I'm going to hit the PlayStation button. I'm going to go over to my friends tab. I'm going to go down to my friend's name that is helping me out with the video today, or whoever's helping you out with the glitch. You're going to click on their name. You're going to go to the GTA tab and click on that. And in the bottom left hand corner, you're going to see a box that says join. So this is the timing that I was talking about. So you're basically going to click on join. Don't back out from there. It's going to automatically put you back to the screen after a moment. And you want to make sure while it says getting online session details in the bottom right hand corner that you're going to go ahead and click on exit to ground. So when you click to join friend from the dashboard, you're going to click on exit to ground. Once you get back to the screen, it's going to pull up an alert screen it says, would you like to join? You want to go ahead and accept that first message. It's going to be followed by a second message. Would you like to change your targeting mode? And that one you want to just leave on the screen and don't do anything. So as you can see here, would you like to join? Yes. Second alert has a different targeting mode. Just sit and wait. So after about, I'd say about 10 to 15 seconds, waiting on the screen here, you want to go ahead and select no. And as you can see, now I am in a frozen state. The camera won't pan or anything. And as you can see, I am in my retro custom parked in front of the elevator in the mod shop, which is a good sign. So from this point, go ahead and just hit the options button. And we're going to go over to friends. We're going to select the friend that is helping you out with the glitch. And you're going to go ahead and send them a game invite to join your lobby. So just go ahead and select send game invite. And now from this point, we're basically just going to exit the options menu and we're just going to sit here and wait for them to join your lobby. So your friend is going to get two messages as well. Now they're going to go ahead and accept both of those. They will need to change their targeting mode so they can go ahead and join your lobby. Now, once your friend is loaded into your lobby, go ahead and have them start up a job. Just have them select Titan of a job and go ahead and load into that mission lobby. Once they're in the mission lobby, you're going to go to options, go to friends, go down to your friend's name that's helping you out, click on their name, and select join game. You've got to make sure that they're in your lobby. 
Now you are in an invite only lobby. Your friend was in a friend session. And then you went ahead and invited them into your session and had them start up a job which tried to join them. It's going to give you this message here where it basically says that you can't join. And you're just going to go ahead and accept that message or just continue. And it's going to make you no longer glitched out. So you're going to be standing outside of your LG Retro Custom and you're able to walk around. So from this point, this is basically a cloned vehicle. So now you want to go ahead and pull up your interaction menu and you want to just invite to Office Garage, send a game invite to your friend who is helping you out with the glitch. Now this might take a few moments for your friend to actually make it into your office garage. So just go ahead and just hang out and wait until they show up. Once your friend shows up here in the office garage, you're just going to hop back into that LG Retro Custom and you're going to have them hop in the passenger seat. Now I have my vehicle access set to friends. So my buddy is basically going to hop into the passenger seat and he's going to be frozen on a black screen when you get into the car. So I'm going to hop in the driver's seat. He's going to hop in the passenger seat and he'll be stuck on a black screen. Once he's on that black screen, you just get out of the vehicle and you're going to go to the elevator where you're going to exit back to office garage one. So go to the elevator, select office garage one and go ahead and enter that garage. Now from this step, what you're going to do is just hop back into the LG Retro Custom, which is the car in spot number six that you started off with. You're going to drive it outside and then you're just going to drive it right back into Office Garage 1. This part here I sped up a little bit because you will be staring at your garage door for quite some time. It kind of takes a little while to load you back in since your friend is now still glitched out on that black screen in your clone car that's inside of your mod shop. Now once you make it back into Garage 1, you're just going to hop into any stock Elegy. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in this stock Elegy right here. And I'm going to hit right on the D-pad to take it into the mod shop. Now once you get into the mod shop, basically all you need to do is exit that vehicle. So now we're in the mod shop here. And I'm just going to go ahead and circle. I'm going to go down once to exit vehicle. And I'm going to get out of the car. Now your friend should no longer be stuck on that black screen, as you can see. And what we want to do is go ahead and hop into this upgraded LG Retro Custom. You're going to be prompted to hit right on the D-pad, so hit right on the D-pad. And just like glitches of the past, we're just going to change the license plate. So we're going to go to Plates, go down once to License, and we're going to select any license plate of our choice. Once you do so, we're going to go back to Exit Vehicle. Make sure you select Exit Vehicle. And then we're going to go back into the elevator and exit to Office Garage 1. And then we're going to repeat these steps over and over from where I take the stock LG into the mod shop and continue on from there. Now, your friend needs to stay in your office building with you. I mean, there is a chance that they could actually leave. I know if your friend, I believe, leaves... Uh, exits to ground, he can kind of go about his business, but I would suggest and recommend that your friend stays in your CEO office with you. Make sure they don't lag out, so make sure they put a rubber band on their control, or have them hang out with you and just chit chat while you're duplicating cars. And just make sure they continue to walk around so they don't lag out. So once again, starting from the point where we have the clone car in the office uh, mod shop. I'm going to take another stock Elegy. I hit right on the D-pad, take it into the mod shop, and I'm going to exit out of that vehicle. I'm going to get back into the fully upgraded Retro Custom. I'm going to hit right on the D-pad, and I'm going to go ahead and change the plate once again. So, exit vehicle, get in the Retro Custom, hit right on the D-pad, go to plates, down to license, and just change to any plate. And then I'm going to exit vehicle, walk back into the elevator and once again select office garage one and we're going to do this with all of your stock elegies 
so we can turn them into retro customs. I think I didn't mention that when you get back here into the uh, garage, you need to go to the management circle, the blue circle, and you need to move that vehicle, that stock LG that you just drove into the mod shop. You need to switch it with another car for it to stick as a retro custom. But that's it for today's video. It's super easy. I'll go over it one more time and uh, I'm basically going to go ahead and speed things along and finish up um, upgrading these cars on the lower level. So you just take a stock LG once you have that glitched out clone in the mod shop and just hit right on the D-pad to take it in the mod shop, exit vehicle, get into the LG Retro Custom, hit right on the D-pad to modify the vehicle, change the plate, exit vehicle, go back to the elevator, exit to Office Garage 1, go to the management circle, and go ahead and swap the vehicles back and forth for the custom LG to stick. It's pretty simple from this point on. Now, for those of you that are unaware, you can, in fact, swap vehicles between your office garages. So when you go to the management circle and hit right on the D-pad, you select a car, and it should, in the bottom right-hand corner, prompt you uh, to select a garage, which on PlayStation 4, you hit square, and you can go ahead and select a vehicle that's in a different garage. I would not suggest driving vehicles out, as there's a possibility of the clone disappearing. And once again, make sure your friend stays in the building with you. But that's it for today's video. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, we hope to see you all next time. Have a great weekend.